Hey guys, I am Amit Kumar and welcome to this video in which we are going to talk about if else statement. Conditional statements are used to execute some statements and skip some other statements depending on some condition. For example, in real life there are situations where we perform some certain task or skip to do some certain task depending upon some certain conditions. For example, if it is raining, I won't play today, otherwise I will. If else statement is one of the conditional statements to achieve the same in programming. The syntax of if else statement is if with a boolean expression or a boolean value statement 1 semicolon else statement 2 semicolon. Here statement 1 will be executed if the boolean value is true otherwise false. That means in case the boolean value is true statement 1 will be executed and in case if it evaluates to false then statement 1 will be skipped and statement 2 will be executed. Now there are some points to know. Else statement is optional in the if else statement. So it's not mandatory to provide an else statement whenever we are writing an if else statement. Else relates itself to the closest if. Both if and else statements can have a single statement or multiple statements with help of a block. For example, if we are providing a boolean expression and we want to provide more than one statement with it like this, then we can provide these statements within a block using the braces. Similarly, we can have a block for an else statement as well. Now as I told you, else relates itself to the closest if. To understand this situation, we will create a program in the practical session of the same video. So guys, pretty much I've talked about if else statements and it's a demo time now. So guys, here we are on our developer console and let's create a program for our if else statement. So guys, here is our program and in this program, we are actually dealing with two different types of if else statement. Now the first code snippet is actually printing whether the number is a single digit number or not. Now this number we are providing as the parameter of this show method. So the show method will accept a number and then we will check if the number is less than 10 definitely it will print that it is a single digit number otherwise it will come to else and print it is not a single digit number. So let's see the output of this program. Now while executing the program, we will name the program dot show and to this show method we will pass a number. So let's pass 12 to it and let's click on execute. So guys you can clearly see it is printing 12 is not a single digit number which is definitely true and why it is happening because when num is 12, 12 is less than 10 is false and hence it is skipping this specific statement and coming to else and printing this one. Now let's pass a single digit number to the same program and now let's pass 2 to the same program and click on execute and now you can clearly see it is printing 2 is a single digit number. So let's see another code snippet in the same program. Now the second code snippet prints whether the number is an even number or not. So let's see that. So you can see I have commented out the previous code snippet and what this code snippet is doing it is actually calling a mod function of the math class. Now what is the role of this mod function? Mod function accepts two parameters. It divides the first number with the second number and returns the remainder. So what it is going to do? It is accepting the num. It is passing the num as the first parameter and 2 as the second parameter. So this mod function will divide num by 2 and will hold the remainder in rem variable. Now definitely we know that even number are divisible by 2 and it means that when an even number will be divided by 2 we will get a remainder 0 and when an odd number will be divided by 2 we will not get the remainder as 0. So what we are doing here we are checking the remainder of the division. So if the remainder is 0 num is an even number and if the remainder is not 0 num is an odd number. So let's check it out. So now we are passing 2 again and let's click on execute and now you can see it is printing 2 is an even number. So let's pass an odd number and see the output. This time I am passing 23 and let's click on execute and you can see it is printing that 23 is an odd number. So in the same program we have seen two code snippets. The first one was checking out whether the number being passed to the method 
is a single digit number or not the second code snippet is checking whether the number passed to the method is an even number or an odd number so this is a very simple example of if else statement now let's see another program for the same so guys in this program we are checking whether a number is divisible by 5 so as i told you in the presentation that else statement is an optional statement and you can see we have removed the else statement in this program so this program is not having an else statement attached to this if definitely we can add an else statement to it and in that else statement we can print that number is not divisible by 5 but just to tell you that an else statement is an optional statement we have removed it from this program now this program is accepting a number as the parameter parameter of the method dividing the number by 5 with math.mod which is going to return the remainder we are holding the remainder in rem variable and checking out if rem is 0 or not so if this condition is true that means the remainder is 0 definitely number is divisible by 5 so let's run the program so right now i am calling the check method of the divisible by 5 class by passing 25 to it which is definitely divisible by 5 and hence it will print 25 is divisible by 5 so let's click on execute and you can clearly see it is printing 25 is divisible by 5 now what will happen if I pass a number which is not divisible definitely this program will not do anything at all because I haven't mentioned any else statement for it so if condition will be false and there is nothing to do for the compiler for this specific program so right now I'm passing 23 and hence I will not get any output so let's click on execute and now you can see the debug is not printing anything at all so let's create another program to understand the points of if else statement so guys in this program I'm trying to show you how an else attach itself to the closest if so you can see what we are doing in this program we have created an integer variable num with a value 10 then a string variable message and now what we are doing the first condition over here we are checking whether the num is less than 10 then another condition afterwards it is an if with a condition num is equals to 0 and here if num is equals to 0 we are inserting number is 0 inside this message which is nothing but a string variable inside the else we are writing down message where number is greater than or equal to 10 now definitely right now num is having value 10 this condition will become false and what we are expecting is this specific message that is number is greater than or equal to 10 will be assigned to message but that's not true because else attach itself to the closest if so what will happen this else will attach itself to this specific if and this else will be executed when number is equals to 0 becomes false and for this condition it seems like it will become true because number is 10 and definitely it's not equals to 0 but what happens is this specific if is part of this specific if what I mean is the number equals to 0 condition will be checked only when number is less than 10 and as this condition will be checked only when this will become true hence this whole program right now will not print anything why because number is equals to 10 the first condition becomes false and that's why it is not going to check the next condition and because the next condition is not being checked there is no case that this will become true or false and hence this else will not be executed and this certain program proves that else attach itself to the closest if so right now this message will not print anything so let's run this program and check it out so you can see the message is null right now as the message variable is not assigned with anything now to get rid of such situation or to assign this else to this specific if what we need to do we need to create a block over here so we will create a block with the help of braces and now this specific if is part of this block so this specific condition will be checked once this specific condition is true definitely but when this specific condition is false it will come to this specific else and will assign number is greater than or equal to 10 to this message now when we run this program now the message will be number is greater than or equal to 10 so let's see 
what's the output and now you can see the message is number is greater than or equals to 10 so this specific program proves that the else attach itself to the closest if so make sure and be careful when you are providing more than one if else statement the else is going to attach itself to the closest if so that marks the end of this video see you soon in the next video till then thank you and take care